hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this training video how to master the art of day and swing trading tips and ideas this is session one I'm going to be give uh, publishing or producing I should really say regular videos uh, giving away tips and ideas to day traders and it doesn't matter what markets you trade whether it be stocks futures or Forex the strategies and ideas are just as applicable and with that being said if you've watched my videos before and I always say this my videos are raw real and unedited so I don't have a script that I'm running to so we may seem to go all over place at times but I promise you I'm going to give you some great ideas that can have a dramatic improvement on your bottom line now if I've got any members watching this I'm just going to give a very very quick advertisement in a moment but then we'll get into the content uh, fairly quickly uh, as always I do need to put this disclaimer up there is a risk in trade if you haven't watched my videos before please feel free to pause the video read the disclaimer if you also haven't requested any of my free training manuals you can uh, visit my website request uh, my training manual getting started as a day or swing trader and also my free ebook the truth about day trading now I mainly talk about day trading but the strategies once again it really doesn't matter whether you're a day trader or a swing trader as always they work on all markets and time frames see I suppose there is one slight difference if you're looking at swing trading we'd normally be using a time-based chart rather than the Renko tick or volume based chart so that's really about the only real difference now also if you're not already a member I have over 4,000 members around the world and rapidly growing for $197 you can get all of my strategies over 200 hours online of video instruction there are literally as one member said recently my my Google Drive which you go into it to download is like a gold mine there's just literally hundreds of items that you can download there over 50 hours of recorded live sessions and strategy recaps I've got free indicators etc uh, etc et so visit my website at I'm a day trader to find out more about my program but it's $197 all up traders this is the end of the advertisement let's now get stuck into some ideas that I've um, uh, got for you first of all I want to talk a little bit about head stuff now I know some of you are going to uh, say straight away oh this is crap you know I get let's get into the content traders if you're already saying that I can already tell that you're not into mastery trading is about 90% head stuff there are literally hundreds of trading methodologies and strategies that really do work the problem is is us if we were to look in a mirror the person staring back at us is the problem 99% of the time so what I want to do is just ask you why you watch this video is to please put all judgments aside for a moment and to have an open mind because I promise you you can pick up ideas that will have a massive impact on your bottom line as long as you're open-minded that is you need to convert from the disempowering statements that we usually say to ourselves like that won't work this is no good to empowering questions so we need to go to how can I use this what's good about this what can I learn about this or from this because what I'm going to be showing you is real ideas and strategies you can make a lot of money from only if you have the right state of mind now as this statement says here develop a clear vision for yourself as a highly successful world-class trader whether you be a swing trader or a day trader you can choose to become epic that's the the road you've got to go down you see fortunately for most of us including me trading's not about intellect it's about really pets a pattern solving exercise that's what trading is really about now you can choose to learn those patterns anyone can learn the patterns that we use when we trade patterns of uh, geometric patterns appear in the markets each and every day that is the markets have a memory with no matter what time frame you're, you're trading it's amazing and over a series of video I'm going to be showing you a ton of stuff down this road but what you've got to do is draw a line in the sand and say I choose to become world-class this is really just some of the most important things that you've got to start to do now I'm bringing this slide up and this is something that I talk a lot about uh, in my courses but on the right hand side here you'll see I've got a notebook 
because what I want to really do is to encourage you that as you watch my videos if you read my materials or as you read my materials and even if you watch someone else's training video uh, it's very very important traders that you take notes pause it take notes use a highlighter and over a period of time like I literally uh, last count I th it's getting close to 50 notebooks of uh, training materials of live trading and R&D you may notice it you can barely perhaps read it on each of it says live trading R&D and they're dated and so rather than have notepads where I've got crap all over the place <laughs> I leave a window open and bits of paper flow everywhere I date them and what I've got now is a gold mine of ideas and strategies for my 25 years in the market I've been doing this for 25 years so please that's why I want you to say okay well just perhaps this guy can give me a couple of ideas and tips and you know what in the end traders you don't have to buy my program uh, if you're already successfully trading and you're perhaps earning your five to ten grand a week well you know don't change what you're doing and by the way I've got to quickly mention this what I do say to uh, members that um, or experienced traders that purchase my program you don't throw out what you're already doing what you do is you say okay let me have a look at what Ray's doing and see how I can apply it to improve what I'm already doing and no doubt there's a ton of stuff there and I'm not going to get into testimonials and all that sort of thing if you want to see a sales video go to my website this is really about giving you ideas and getting you moving but it's very very important that you take notes every time you sit down as one of the most important projects you approach because unfortunately a lot of people don't look at trading as a career but that's exactly what trading is it's a career and dealing with the psychological damage done the traders is probably the greatest challenge I face as a traders coach that is every day I get new members join me and I deal with them uh, in coaching sessions I do a lot of one-to-one -one coaching and small private group coaching sessions and answer and I give you full email support and one of the greatest challenges is that if you've blown your account once or twice in the past or maybe even more often you do suffer from psychological damage so these are the things that we really need to work on we need to if you're approaching trading or coming in or want to become a trader for the first time it's absolutely critical that you do it the right way the first time if you're reapproaching trading or if you're, you've been losing money or you want to turn things around let's get you back on track you know successful traders are willing to do things that unsuccessful traders won't do so it's very very important traders that we get this right now in the session as you can probably tell I'm going to give a few of our traders or a few people watching this what I call a rev up because lack of candor or me blowing wind up your nose or whatever you want to say I blow it it's not going to do you any favors traders you have to stop the blame game you know I have traders turn around and say my strategies don't work they're no good traders BS the fact is they keep trying to cut the corners you know you've got to earn the right to make money and I'm going to show you a few few setups today and some ideas there's nothing better you know if well look I'm a pure price action trader well you'll see so am I yes I may use indicators to cement a few of the ideas that I have or to confirm their tools but what I'm trying to really say here traders is we've got to stop the blame game and we've got to look in the mirror if we're not where we wish to be as traders we can do something about it but we've got to work on ourselves it's just so important now I was reading something um, uh, you know the other day in a coaching session and it was about ego as a great book uh, out and and what it was saying is that on ego ego is the greatest enemy to it for a trader or to a trader that is we, we don't want to be wrong so we want to make other people wrong so let's remove the ego let's stop the blame game now the fact is if you're not consistently profitable as a day trader now your skill set is not where it should be you can do this as I mentioned earlier uh, this is not a, a game about intellect trading is not about that trading is not rocket science it's about pattern recognition but very very important we've got to be open 
minded it's just so important you know we need to give ourselves a regular checkup from the neck up you know as Zig Ziglar used to say the great late Zig Ziglar we all suffer from a hardening of the attitudes and it's so important now a couple of the ideas and I just want to quickly show you this and um, we're going to run out of time in today's session we could be talking for for hours and hours on some of the things but this is probably the most important thing I just want to quickly talk to you about as traders and I got this somewhere on the internet and it's just a great diagram the dark blue line is what we call from in my business you'll see when I go to the charts in a moment I display two charts one is an anchor a higher time frame and the other one is what I call my entry chart now these moves up here are usually divergence moves counter trend moves which I recommend all traders stand aside from until they're consistently profitable as a trend trader and the reason being we've got this thing I don't know what it is as humans and hey I'm just as guilty we're always trying to pick tops and bottoms and if you get a strong trending day and if you don't understand angulation and channels you can be really hammered very very badly and it can really destroy your confidence as a trader so it's very very important that we follow the anchor chart and we're taking the retracements the pullbacks and the trend continuation now if somebody is not making money doing this it's usually because they're entering a trade too late or the trend is nearly over or they've got the wrong money management uh, strategies it is they're too highly leveraged because if you're trading in the direction of your anchor chart based upon retracements and you're getting in very very early it is I don't want to say a guaranteed way, a way of making money it's going a little too far but it's a certain way of really guaranteeing your success once you fully understand what a trend is and how to enter these trades okay it's very very important that I mention that because one of the things I want to be showing you today and probably the most important lesson today is besides the head stuff is talking about the concept of using a tick chart and a range sorry a tick and a Renko chart together I want to give you uh, a couple of ideas because as many of you know I've really I really love trading using a Renko chart but there's some challenges with that I want to show you but before we get to that I want to give you a bit of a goal and for those members that are watching this you know I hear I talk about all the time target five by five target five by five five by five yes I can five by five yes I can it's basically an affirmation in having five successful trades a day by an average of fifty dollars so if you're trading CL that's five by five is five ticks uh, if you're trading the NQ okay what we're after there is uh, is 10 is 10 ticks okay so we're after sorry five ticks 10 ticks if we're trading the NQ if you're trading uh, Forex if you're trading a standard lot that's five net now as we're about to see you can do a lot better but what I wanted to really say here is I'm going to show you and, and share an idea with you that hopefully will be motivating and will allow you to sit down and start putting things pen to paper and starting to plan your trading career now to do that you need to have a massive compelling future if you've got no future and as we know that um, uh, in the in the Bible it says where there is no vision the people will perish now I'm not a scholar on the Bible I've got to say that however it's a it's a saying that has been around for hundreds of years where there is no future the people will perish and it's so true if you want to truly succeed as a trader you know show me a trade if it's perhaps brand new or one that's failed in the past it's now setting the right goals it's a massive compelling future um, you know I'll show you a trader that is probably going to have massive success and I'll never forget this and let me just quickly give you a quote by a gentleman called Robin Sharma so if you go to robinsharma.com you can get his some great free stuff he's not a trader but um, he's a great personal development coach and what he says here is this to achieve the impossible you first need to develop the mindset that it's probable please don't let the 
allow sorry please don't allow the current limits of your life define your future reality you deserve so much better and the world deserves your best now I know some people have already clicked off my video they don't want to hear this but I can almost guarantee they're not winning traders it's amazing in dealing with hundreds of winning traders now you find that the winning traders nearly always are the open-minded traders that is they're open to learning which is just so important so the five by five yes I can you may change change it as I'm about to show you some great winning trades that averaged $80 each it might be three by eight yes I can three whatever it is but what you want to do is really start to create that confidence and here is why what I promote to traders is number one you've got to have a, re a realistic daily target would you be trading uh, day trading two hours a day or five hours a day six hours a day just remember the more you trade the longer the time frame you trade we suffer from what we call ego depletion not the ego I was talking about earlier it's a separate thing but there's now a studies out that as an example if we start trading in the morning we are much more likely to start making mistakes big mistakes later in the day we become depleted energy wise etc it's a little bit like if you're back testing a strategy or doing back testing on your ideas and strategies after a couple of hours you should actually be exhausted it's what we call deliberate practice so deliberate practice is where we sit down and we look at our charts and we're doing our back testing and even forward testing an idea and we're really focused on that and it's very very easy to become exhausted and uh, well it's not easy but over a number over a period of time of a couple of hours we should be because what it means is we're we're really focused where a lot of people are not doing that they're not really focused they're just looking back and I instead of saying how can I improve my entry where should I be exiting where's the ideal area for stop placement this is what we call deliberate practice now back onto this I want to show you a chart where if on average you average here this is net after commissions and just assuming a five dollar commission here where you're netting 200 a day I want to show you how well you can do now with this chart that I'm about to show you now so if you're trading the futures contracts we know that um, ten dollars a tick five dollars the s is twelve fifty a tick we go to the uh, currency futures at six twenty five a tick Forex if you're trading a standard lot it's basically ten dollars a, a, a pip you know so whatever market you're trading uh, if you break it down to this and here I'm assuming uh, that you've got five thousand dollars in trading capital and you never ever ever risk any more than two percent okay one of our golden rules and over a period of time you drop that down but what I wanted to show you here is th is this if you start trading one contractor with five thousand dollars and you average two hundred dollars a day at the end of a week you've now got six thousand dollars in your account and how this works is that when you double your account to ten thousand you start trading two contracts when you have another five thousand in the account you start trading three and you keep compounding that effect that so that's based upon two hundred dollars a day now here some of these are over that now I'm not going to break it down today and as the experienced traders know you have should be going for three hundred dollars a day to allow for down day I'm not going to get into that here in this particular session but the point is if you're actively trading two hours a day or more as a day trader in an active market this is for me a realistic goal now if that doesn't gel with you and if we were to say what if it was only one hundred dollars a day and if it's only $100 a day you're averaging it takes about 40 weeks to get to a stage here of earning $10,000 a week and so what I failed to mention here is within 16 weeks you've got the opportunity of potentially earning up to $10,000 a week if you are only averaging $100 a day it will take you around 40 weeks to get there to be getting or to be earning around 10,000 a week now at that sort of level you'd um, uh, you know your account has has, has grown dramatically uh, you know you, you've got up over a hundred thousand dollars in your account but this is the power of compounding uh, 
but the real lesson here for you to jot down is what is your daily weekly monthly target that is what are you going to be going for and so in future sessions we'll be breaking this down to what's a realistic target which are the best markets when's the best time what capital do I require etc and of course in the day traders fast track program I go through this step by step we do weekly members Q&A's etc we're breaking this down basically every week we're going through this but for those watching this that may not be members I want to start planting the seed in your mind to start looking at this so changing tact a little bit and here's just a live trade just on five contracts I did last week now this is doing the Globex session now the Globex session is the after hour session okay and the market can be quite thin it's like with the NQ at times at the bid ask there's usually it may only be 5 10 15 contracts on either side so this is uh, a case of five contracts by 16 ticks and on five that's before commissions that's four hundred dollars per trade now you can see the beautiful thing with uh, and this is by the way uh, this is the open was just over here the Globex open so the market closes for around an hour reopens uh, 6 p.m. Eastern uh, and and away we go again and it's a beautiful market to trade but what I wanted to mention was on that target uh, 200 where we had this before where is that chart again where we are looking at oh, where's that chart here we go five by five we can see here but I only need three by or three trades to be delivering my $80 per trade which is going to give me over 200 as an example and on the next one and I hope I'm not losing anyone this is what we call a t10 setup now with this t10 it was eight ticks on CL this is during the globe session as well uh, so it was eight ticks uh, and which is $80 per contract okay so on here it works out to be uh, on this it works out to be 380 after commission somewhere in that vicinity but it's 400 gross but the point was there if you can go for larger profit targets of course you need a lot less trades but that's a little beyond the scope of today's session but getting back to that table this is a realistic target if you're trading particularly with the trend with the right type of market the right time frame etc but that we're going to cover a lot more in future sessions but the big thing I wanted to cover is something that comes up virtually every day now with new members talking to me about Renko versus tick uh, and range charts where most of you would be aware that I would usually uh, nearly always trade with uh, uh, range on the Forex markets I love range on Forex or trading with um, tick charts on the futures markets well now I very very much switched across across to Renko with what I call the support of tick charts and let me show you why the issue with um, Renko is that as much as it's fantastic in smoothing out the chart and in actual fact just here because Renko charts have strict guidelines to when Renko bars are be plotted minor price movements are ignored and do not appear in the chart or on the chart this can help the trader focus on not only the essential price movements that are necessary for trading our strategies that's my strategies and they have a different appearance but the point is here when you get a really strong price movement as we've got here you can miss out on some other really nice entries so yes if you entered up here on say and for my members you know what a t20 is but if you um, uh, fail to you can see we've got no other potential entries here unless you jump purely in on momentum what you can see here on the tick chart the tick chart is showing you this little retry little pullback here retracement and it's giving you a nice t2 entry it can also give you a rule of one it can give you other types of entries here but the point is something to consider traders is to consider combining your Renko with tick charts now one of the secrets here is is the time frame that you use when you do this 
okay so when you have a strong move look at tick charts for entries now as we know that there are three basic trading sessions and just putting aside for a moment looking at the differences in using tick with Renko uh, this is still applicable and very important is it we do have three main sessions when New York closes we roll into what we call the Asian session and that then rolls over into the London which will then roll into New York and so New York of course is where we generally have the most volume except for the Forex the currency markets but let's talk futures for a moment so with futures we'll have the massive volume will, will generally be during New York we roll over into the Asian session where it will drop down to probably only about 10% sometimes even less of what we see in New York as we then head into London all of the markets pick right back up again so what we'll generally have is a certain time frame for trading New York then we'll drop that time frame on our charts well down and then we might lift it slightly as we head into London and we'll jump up dramatically as we then head into the New York session now for members watching this video if you go uh, and you should have already accessed this but for new members that are watching it if you go into the folder on my Google Drive called new recordings and downloads you'll be able to download a two three page document here just on some recommended time frames now as most of you are aware as an example for um, uh, the NQ during the New York hours I like the 144 tick and if I'm trading this the tick chart alone okay I'll have a 377 is my anchor so 144 tick is my entry my trading chart and the 377 is the anchor chart now in putting uh, and looking at I should say my Renko chart I will use an eight tick Renko or two point Renko with the 144 so I'll have a 144 tick on a on another screen okay and I'll always refer back to that and just look at that so I'm getting the best of both worlds I'm looking at the Renko for, for price movement that is for a nice smooth market to smooth out the bumps and to give the you know so many patterns are so much easier to notice on the Renko but I'll also be looking over at the tick chart because that will give me other information okay so we need to consider that the different markets and the different time frames just why I'm here for the members that are watching this I've also uploaded a new document on here called where is it here the master traders checklist now the master trader where is this it's up higher where are, where are, here we go the master traders checklist this is v5 version 5 traders so for my existing members please go and download the updated checklist okay this is version 5 so you'll um, uh, be able to see that and a few additions I've got to that now just while I'm here for those that are uh, not members I have literally on my Google Drive for members hundreds and hundreds of downloads okay of recordings I've done of uh, articles recordings um, uh, charts PDFs there's just a huge amount of resources we've got some um, powerpoints on the strategies so strategy powerpoints etc anyway I'm not going to say too much more of that because it's not meant to be a sales video but that's what's on the Google Drive but getting back to that so go and look at the time frames that I recommend okay very very important you spend some time breaking those down now what I do want to now show you is to quickly go to the charts today's charts um, well actually today's <laughs> last week's and just show you a couple of other examples here of where you can use Renko and tick charts now what I've done just for the ease I've actually put these on one chart for you so I've got the tick now what we're looking at here is the CL contract on the left this and you can't see it it's up here but it's a 233 tick chart so this is during the New York hours I like a 233 tick and the anchor chart on my tick chart I'd be using would be a 610 now here I've got a 
a four Renko or a four uh, tick which means that each one of these bricks is worth $40 but the point I wanted to show is this notice how you get these really nice strong moves now for our general members this is what we call of course our 34b it's also a t10 as we can see down here now see you've got this nice strong move the problem is if you've scalped the market for say eight ticks you're out up here okay yes $80 is nice but we've also missed out on the rest of the move now if you're trading just one contract I personally believe if you're trading just one contract you should consider scalping for six to eight ticks whatever your target may be rather than trying to to um, a trail okay because trailing for a profit is great uh, if you're in a strong trending market but if you're in the market perhaps it is really choppier it's a lot more difficult now once you start trading multiple contracts the trailing is a lot easier okay but what I wanted to show you was this see we've got this nice strong move and we haven't got too many other entry opportunities but yet if we look over at our 233 tick here's a really nice 10 15 tick move uh, then over here we've got another lovely entry here now for our, our pure price action traders this is out this is what we call a, a t25 or the old floor trader strategy we can see we've got a retracement close back above the trigger line and we're back in there's a good 8 to 10 tick move again so you've got two moves in this tradable trend now over here uh, of course here we've got one move it's more difficult let's have a look now I want to show you the 55 tick now this is actually today's price action so uh, was this today uh, yes it is today sorry <laughs> just looking at so I'm recording this on Monday the 1st of the 10th 2018 down under in Australia uh, so it's Sunday evening in the US so we're looking at the Globex market so I've got on the left the 55 tick on the NQ and this is a one and a half brick or point six ticks per brick here and what I wanted to show you was this some other examples here so we've got the floor pivot we also know what's one of our golden rules traders where is the pivot because they're magnets so if you're taking this trade we know that we've um, uh, got a very very probably about um, a 90 percent chance that we're going to rally up here and hit this pivot which is great for confidence building with um, uh, taking this trade the point is we've got a really nice strong rally up here you may be out up here if you've got say a 16 tick and as you saw from my previous video on some of the moves I was picking up 16 ticks which is very very nice $80 you're out so you're missing out on perhaps some other potential entries if you like to use indicators or if you like to see a retracement yet if you're looking at your tick chart you can see you've got some nice little pullbacks and some nice re-entry opportunities okay so you know tick and Renko can be a great combo they can work really well together and it's something that I really recommend that you look at now what about our Forex traders I haven't forgotten you either okay so here on the right actually I've got my Renko now in this particular case traders I'm using a four pip Renko brick okay so they're four four pips and over here I'm using an 89 tick so you can apply and use exactly the same where you're using a combo of Renko and tick if you are a Forex trader as well and you can see we've come down to the floor a floor pivot now what you've got to do is to really make sure that they're in sync that is sometimes you need to have a higher time frame in tick to match your Renko okay so you may just have to play around with that and of course in my program we talk about this a great deal and on the uh, Q&A sessions uh, let me just get back to this so traders what we've done we've covered really a lot of information here but the point I wanted to really get across is that Renko is fantastic it makes a great chart divergence is much easier to pick it's just so many other setups are much easier to pick but when you get these strong moves 
you can because the minor price action is pretty much ignored you can miss out on some of these re-entries now also and we can see it down here we've got a, a really great t19 we've got a lovely little divergence trade here this is what we call on Renko this is what we call a t3 now you've got slight divergence setting up but when you see that you've got great divergence on your tick chart and you've got um, some divergence or a t3 it becomes what we call a loaded trade it's nice to see two two types of charts confirming your entry now if you're brand new to trading this initially may appear to be a little confusion get confusing traders this is another thing that um, I've got to be candid with you about you've got to give yourself a good 90 to 180 days to master the art or to begin to master the art of day trading you see it's a, because anyone can open a trading account literally anyone can go and buy a course and because yes we all make money out of selling courses I trade and I sell courses of course but I love training I love teaching traders um, uh, but I'm going to be straight with you and some won't buy I don't care I don't you know I really don't care if you don't you know yes I'd love to have you as a member but if you choose not to buy my program because I'm being direct and someone else is giving you a promise of riches overnight well traders you're probably going to blow your account you need to change your time frame and say okay I've got to allow 90 to 180 days you've got to do your internship just remember that every professional was once a student trading ain't rocket science but you've got to lay the right foundation down from day one it's just so important that you look at it this way traders and but what I wanted to say is that where I teach my traders over 15 different setups now you only need to focus on two or three maybe four trend following and some of them work hand in hand and what will happen is you know yes you may become confused but you know what confusion is the doorway to a new understanding okay getting confused is good you'll have what we call aha experiences and so if you'll say just starting to learn trading for the first time no matter whether it be futures or Forex or stocks you'll have times of yes you're confused you'll have those aha okay that's what it means you'll get on there and Google a term or you'll go and look for term up or whatever or, or drop me an email and ask me or, or I'll cover it in a Q&A session but what I want to say you've got to give yourself time and when you look at this and say shoot you know try to learn rank out one tick you know after 30 days it's a bit like driving a motor vehicle you will pick it up and whether or not you're a member of mine or not you will or you can master this if you approach it with the with, with a level of professionalism it's just so important there are no massive shortcuts you can have massive success traders you truly can but you've got to approach it correctly from day one you know when it comes to trading your attitude determines your outcome where you go with this is totally up to you but you've got an incredible opportunity that is you can start off trading realistically with a thousand dollars plus there's not too many opportunities out there where you can do that but what you've got to be realistic on traders is the time frame uh, that you know you're going to pick these skills up so traders in wrapping this particular session up make sure that you subscribe to my channel and you'll get updated this is our session one of this so I'm going to be doing a lot more of these sessions uh, for not only members and members as you know if you go into the uh, the new recordings and uploads as you know generally they're uh, ad free the members Q and A's are ad free and we'll get down and we break down our uh, strategies in much much more detail than any these public videos so make sure you go into them but if you're new to my channel please subscribe and you'll be well hopefully I can motivate you hopefully you can see the fantastic opportunity that you have in front of you now in the next session we're going to be talking a lot about the law of probabilities rules and probabilities when it comes to trading because unfortunately so many traders are so fixated 
or really just on that one trade if I have one or two losing trades I want to go and start looking for what we call the next shiny object I want to be talking I'm going to be talking a lot to you about in the next session about the law of probabilities and how to start thinking and trading like a casino now as a very 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 quickly what gives a casino the house edge rules and probabilities do you see the deal are missing out our hand or changing the rules because the house just had four losing hands in a row or do you see the casino changing the rules of course not you know they know and they understand the law of probabilities and the having the right money management which is very important that is that is maximum you can put on per hand eventually and this is all about rules and getting your head right from day one so I'm going to be talking a lot about that in my next video so traders thank you very much for watching and I certainly hope you picked up some ideas and strategies and I know that if you're open-minded um, uh, you certainly would and I say that the sign of an intelligent person is how open they are to new ideas let me say that again the sign of an intelligent person is how open they are to new ideas it doesn't mean you don't go and verify those ideas and that's why we do our back testing that's why we go we don't we we want to master the pattern but you've got to be open-minded thank you very much traders and I'll see you on the next recording